Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to do a video about the the best browser for Android. So I've I've used a lot of browsers like Chrome, on stock browser, Dolphin, and everything, and um, I think there could be only one browser which um, could be the best possible browser for Android, and that is Opera. So Opera browser is fairly new as um, before used to have the older version of this. This new one is based on the engine WebKit which um, is used in same as um, same browser as Google Chrome for Android. But it has some fundamental differences between an, um, the stock browser, Google Chrome and itself. Okay, so first of all when you open the browser you get greeted with the speed dial. So in the speed dial you see some icons like these. So um, these are, you know, you could add many of them. You could remove them. And you could uh, make folders, name them as well. Which is quite a good feature. And this is one of the main things I like about Opera is that it has a brilliant UI. The speed dial is just wonderful and a swipe to the left brings the history. So history is um, quite straightforward so it, it, it has very elegant design so you could see that first of all today's history then yesterday's history and so on. Uh, tonight, yeah. And then when you swipe right you get into the discover panel so I don't think I have into the discover panel working so um, in the Discover panel, it's like a um, flipboard or something that gives you news feed of anything um, happening recently. So, so I chose technology, and you could even click top stories of today um, or any part of that, uh, anything that you like. So Opera, I think they've taken this a step further. It's just not a browser, but something you might use every day to just looking through, um, finding new new things and it's, I think, it's a brilliant idea and a brilliant feature incorporated into, into a browser. So, I think, so, w when you click something like this, so, right risks losing honeymoon effect here, I click that. And then, you want to read the full article, so I click that. The thing is that, if it's another program, then it would open a browser, then drag me into that web, web page but since this itself is a browser I could directly go to that web page without using another browser which is something really nifty and you can see how scrolling and stuff is really really smooth and when I scroll you get buttons up or down so you could quickly go to the navigate to the top or down with real um, ease okay so so you see that plus button over there when you tap that button, you have the options to add to speed dial or save for offline. So I'm going to click add to speed dial. And when I open a new tab, and you do this by tapping that one over there. And then it gives you a very good design and um, a very good view of all the tabs open, which I definitely like. And I click new tab and it takes me to the speed dial. And there you could see the new web page that we saved. And you could, um, it also gives you a small preview of it. So that's something great. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about okay, uh, is the off road mode. So when you click on the O or Opera symbol, you get to the setting. So in there you could see the off-road mode over there. So what this does is that it's simply Opera Turbo, another name for Opera Turbo. Um, so you could turn it off or on. I think default it's turned off. You, I recommend you turning it on. What this does is that it sends web pages that you want to browse to the um, Opera service and they compress the web pages almost 90% and then send them back to you. This makes web browsing a lot faster, uses less memory as you, pr um, you process less, less of the information 
and you, like most of all, you save your internet. I have only 200 megs that I can use on my phone, and you could save a lot with it. Another thing is that using that that feature and Opera itself is a very light web browser. Um, you can see I'm using this on my very, very, very old Galaxy S i9000, and still it works perfectly. I don't see any lags. It's almost as if I'm using it on a brand new phone. That's um, brilliant. I mean, uh, I'll just navigate to a web page. Uh, I mean, for a modern browser like this to support an old phone, that's brilliant. And I have overclocked this, and even with the overclocked version of uh, my phone, I can't seem to run Chrome web browser with like without lags because it's it consumes so much memory and it ultimately lags my phone to hell so that's another great feature so n another brilliant feature in Opera is the URL bar so um, why is this uh, really a feature is that it you um, you could use the same bar to search in Google or Amazon or dictionary.com or something like that as well as you could type the URL you want to navigate into. I think it's a brilliant idea first um, it came to the market by Google Chrome and from that day on everyone started copying this. That There are ex extensions or add-ons for even Firefox to have this feature. I think it's a brilliant feature and I, so I, I navigate into gsmarina.com but you could use it to Google something, so example, I'm going to Google Galaxy S. And yeah, there you go. Google works a lot. So this is something, another great feature. And, um, okay, so let's look at the settings panel. So from here you could use go forward and to go backward you had to use the physical key there and then you could search something on the web page so let's search for Samsung so there you go this is a great feature I, I could only find this feature on Opera Mobile the easiest to use um, and I believe this is one of the best features around so another thing is that you could share and you have um, access to the three panels in from the home page so that's history speed dial and discover so nothing is download so it gives an easy view of some anything that you downloaded I don't have anything so uh, bad luck um, then settings settings is quite simple to use it's and I've said this a hundred times already but opera has done a brilliant job with the design of this um, web browser it's just brilliant and you could um, set the image quality, you could even turn it off with off-road mode and it's just brilliant, I mean uh, yeah, that's about it and another brilliant feature again is the text wrapping in Opera I mean um, usually you would use the mobile version of a site I presume but with Opera I recommend you using the de full desktop versions it's most easiest to use and it gives you brilliant text wrapping so double tap to zoom and the text is already in a phone format so you don't have to go anywhere or move to the right or left you can just scroll down and easily read the text that's something brilliant I've found in Opera and it's easy to zoom out and zoom in as well you see some some pixelation probably because it's an old phone but it's simply, it's super fast, amazing browser, and I definitely recommend you using it. Thanks.